everyone um this is our little video of our cruise um along the midwich arm um, of the shropshire Union of the shropshire Canal. yeah um what a beauty it's a little gym yeah absolute little gym um and it was nice to be like turning in there and going on uncharted waters yeah weren't and it? yeah found some very um nice quiet Ma moorings, moorings yeah yeah, yeah. The first one we got, which was just past <laughs> Bridge Two, Bridge Two, yeah. um, Rutter's Bridge, I think. Uh, Deb's going to tell me why she's laughing in a minute because I forgot. Well, we literally got onto the canal. We was, yeah. we were like, oh my god, this is nice. Yeah. I mean, we'd only been a mile, not even not that. A, yeah, yeah, <laughs> and quarter, we quarter saw, a mile, but that's, that's what we tend to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah and that was uh, uh, very nice. There. It was lovely, and the moorings you saw us on. Uh, in last week's video on Hurlston Reservoir through the powers of social media, Facebook, Twitter I've been informed that the CRT for whatever reason have now put um, no mooring signs all along there so I really don't understand no, why no, because it, it wasn't harming anybody no, whether it's something to do with because it's a reservoir and uh, mm. fresh water, uh, drinking water um, but hey ho, we we had a yeah. uh, two or three spells there. We yeah. were lucky. Snuck in under the radar. <laughs> yeah. So any of you guys are hoping to moor there now? Apparently there are no mooring signs. Shame. Sorry. Well, beautiful sunny day. Just done a load of washing, which is normal. We're moving on tomorrow, so we'll be getting water. So we just use the last of the water up. Deb's now hanging the smalls up, so I won't zoom in because our smalls are not as small as they used to be. And uh, that should all be dry in about an hour. Yeah, so nice, beautiful part of the um, Middlewich branch of the Shropshire Union. We've been here a couple of days and we're probably only a quarter of a mile, if that, um, from the junction from the main part of the Shropshire Union. It's a nice, long, straight part. Um, Nice and reasonably wide, and the only downside this seems to promote uh, boats going there a little bit too quick. I'm not going to beat on about that. Um, we're moored well, um, double pinned, we've got spring lines on. So I have one rope on there. I've come from my T stud down to this one first, 45 degrees out. I've secured the pin and then put another pin in front of it. Um, the rope then goes back off, tied up, and the same there um, again, so it's, it's double pinned. We're now, um, actually we're now getting blown across the canal, but we're now leaving our mooring just past bridge number two, heading up to the lock, which is... Oh! Oh! Chinese <laughs> we'll, put, we'll put it there, which Chinese is just before um, Venetian, Venetian Marina. Marina. And yeah. we should have a little bit of help through the lock there. If I've got a phone signal and I can message the, the person who actually will be nearby. And the weather's on our side today. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Um, what's today's date? 8th, 8th of September. Yep. Not sure when this will go out, but obviously we're coming towards the end of our summer, so days like this are to be enjoyed. Yes. Right, we're now uh, approaching the lock, and uh, there should be a water point up here. Um, so hopefully we can squeeze in, fill up the water, and then go through the lock. So, as I said, we was going to we was going to have help at the lock, and uh, the windlass is here, and the windlass actually belongs to David. Hello. Uh, Chol Lock, but that's not how it's pronounced. We're going to have the proper pronunciation in a minute.
proper pronunciation of this lock? Oh, it's Chumston. Chumston. Chumston Lock. Well, we're about 500 yards out of Venetian Marina and uh, beautiful little gem of a mooring. Quite a wide section, 48 hour moorings and picnic benches. Yeah, so this is uh, quite nice. Yeah. Yeah, just got to make sure we've got um, food on board for a barbecue and uh, take advantage of the space. I shouldn't do this really, it's teasing, but here's the office for today. Um, sit out here, I've got my cake, got my tea, got my laptop, editing my videos. And behind me, obviously, is my home and my dogs. So that lovely mooring that you've just seen, um, Sykes Hollow, what a lovely little place. That that was lovely, yeah, weren't it? Yeah, not, not the ideal place to try and upload a video. No. Um, I think I started about three in the afternoon and I'd gone to bed 11 o'clock on the third failed upload attempt and then left it uploading overnight, got up in the morning and... Uh, it was done. Yeah, luckily it, it was... That was the only negative about that. Yeah, yeah. But, but then saying that sometimes it isn't a negative because it's good that you haven't got the old internet to take up your time, if you like, but... I mean, obviously, sometimes we do need it. It doesn't have the stress of up, uploading no, a video. No, I don't. Yeah. You're right. But I do. Yeah. 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 But we met up with three absolutely wonderful people yes. on a hire boat. Yeah. And um, forgot to yeah. write their names down. Didn't yeah. ask them their names, yeah. which was dreadful. Yeah. Uh, lived, uh, if they're watching, they're going to know... Um, who they are, yeah. definitely. Yeah. yeah. Even if we don't know who you are, you should know who you are, if that makes but, sense. But they were absolutely wonderful, yeah, so we wonderful a, people. We had a nice evening. Yeah, sat yeah. there putting the worlds to rights with those. And uh, Deb knocked up a, um, and don't laugh, an aubergine and peanut curry. It was lush. Yeah, I'm on a, a little bit of a vegetarian journey at the moment. And Not obviously, so little. Obviously, living on a boat, you can't shop for a carnivore and a vegetarian. So uh, Deb's on the back I'm of my vegetarian. vegetarian Vespa. Yeah. Um, no choice but to go along with the journey. Yeah, and uh, um, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, I've mm. never, never wanted in my whole life an aubergine and peanut curry, but that was a um, recipe we found on Aldi's um, website. Sorry, yeah. Yes, an Aldi's website for Aldi's recipes. With an S. Yeah, <laughs> Aldi. Oh, gosh, yeah. Um, their website has got no end of recipes on there, whether that be for just normal or vegetarian. Um, and they they are brilliant, absolutely brilliant recipes. Yeah, so you can check those out. Yeah, yeah. So our forty eight hours are up on the moor, those moorings, yeah. and to give you a an idea of our normal pace of life, we left there again, no real plan on uh, where we was going, and we cruised for a whole near, nearly an hour. Yeah. yeah, I think we covered two and a half miles, <laughs> and just found another nice mooring. And yeah. what a nice but Yeah, they are lovely moorings along that Middle yeah. Reach branch. Yeah, I thought I'd actually took more footage. I think I've done my, forgot to press the record button. He's while good we, at that. While we was there. Um, but it was overlooking Minsel. Yes. Yes, yes. yeah, yeah. And uh, we had, I think, again, there was 48 hour moorings. So we had uh, another two days there. Yep. And while we was there, we was joined by Narrowboat Northern Lights. Yeah, Ian, Judith, Holly and Teddy Dog. Teddy the Dog, yeah. yes, yeah. And I just had a, a chilled evening with those. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Ian brought along some, <laughs> which I hadn't tried, some Hobgoblin uh, Ruby Ale. Yeah. And that was very nice. Yeah. Um, and we stayed out until it was dark. Yes. And we had to go in dark. because none yeah. of us had lights. No. Yeah, so that, that was nice. Yeah, that was a guys. lovely evening. Yeah, and the the whole the whole time along this canal, we've just been meeting, meeting loads, loads. Some yeah. of them viewers, some just random, you know, random boaters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's been very very nice. Yes. Yeah, and we're at the second lock on the Middlewich branch of the Shropshire Union, Minsel Lock. Um, Eleven feet deep. This one is quite deep. Right, we've just come under bridge number eight, and I've just looked at the guidebook, and this will please the grandkids. What bridge is it called, Deborah? Nanny's Bridge. Nanny's Bridge. Yeah. <laughs> Not necessarily this nanny, but all nannies. All nannies. All nannies. Now this is absolutely bonkers. We've got Aqueduct Marina, 
and two years ago when we sold the um, house they've got a just over there they've got a little bit of a campsite and we brought the caravan up here um, to view some boats just can't believe how quick that two years has gone not only that the levels of excitement and trepidation we was feeling right then yeah yeah we was in familiar territory with the the caravan um, you can I can just see a caravan over there now and then walking down into the marina it was all just all felt Australian yeah. and uh, here we are now just um, yeah it's, it's bonkers I hope that's not a gin and tonic <laughs> <laughs> Well, we've just passed bridge 12. I'm actually standing on the roof of the boat and we're looking over to Minsel Church. Beautiful views. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Finished? Yep, yep. finished. Don't need a tissue. No, no, no tissue. Okay. And before we actually um, got to those moorings um, at Minsel, we passed Aqueduct Marina. Yeah. Now we'd uh, stayed at Aqueduct Marina before we had a narrowboat. When we sold the house last year, we was touring all around the country visiting marinas. Last year? Oh, no, the year before. We the year before. We're coming up to two years Two now. years, yeah. 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 yeah, so when we sold the um, house two years ago, we was touring around the country and we came to Aqueduct Marina. Yeah. I can't remember if that was the first or second marina that we, but we was just in a state of shell shock. Yeah. Sitting there in the caravan, both secretly thinking, oh my God, what have we done? And we, I mean, it's really silly, um, because you used to wake up in the morning and you'd be, you'd wake up in the caravan and go, oh, and you'd, reality would strike yeah. and you'd be like, oh my God. Yeah. You know, but it was the best thing we ever did. Oh yeah, yeah, no, no regrets there. Did. But just, yeah. just to uh, cruise past uh, that that marina again. Yeah, that yeah was it was really, really, really strange. And to a couple of people, um, yeah, wave, yeah. jumped out of their boat and waved. Yeah, a yeah. couple of viewers with the glasses with the glass of gin and, gin and tonic. tonic. Yeah, they didn't ask me if I yeah, wanted couldn't, to. Couldn't quite reach. Yeah, didn't ask me if I wanted to moor up yeah, and have yeah, one yeah, though. Yeah, that would have been nice. <laughs> yeah, so um, I think. By this time, we're, we're actually running low on food, um, booze, <laughs> the usual things, and, and water. So we decided to go down to the end, and apparently we heard that there was a water point on the corner. Um, a lot of people didn't know was there. No, no, I think it was from where we was at Minsal, it was four and a half miles, four and a half miles and two locks. Yeah. And to get to the end of the uh, Middlewich branch, in that in that time we'd have stopped off, uh, done a shop, and got water. Come back through the two locks and moored somewhere. Yeah. We didn't want to be moored in Middlewich no. because later on in the week or the following weekend we was meeting up again with Fran and Rich. Mm. Uh, so the idea was just to go into Middlewich, get what we needed, get water, come back out. Yeah. Well, that didn't quite go according to plan. What time did we leave? Half past nine. We left half past nine in the morning. Yeah. And we eventually got moored back up at set up. And I checked the, the time stamp on a photo that I've uploaded. We got back at 7.34 in the evening. Yeah. So a, a four and a half mile trip with a little shop and detour and a water fill up. Um, was probably one of our longest cruising days. It We've was, done for a long, long while. And it was very hot. Yeah, very hot. The only bonus was when we got to the um, end. King's Lock, um, ready to turn around to come back, there was a queue of four or five boats. So we had to wait in that queue. And there's a pub there, uh, King's Lock pub. Mm. And let me get this right. I've memorised the names because Jack and Jill went up the hill. So it was Jill... And I've got an uncle, Lawrence. So it was Jill and Lawrence. Um, <laughs> we've got a narrow boat who was at the lock, and they actually come down for a natter and bought us a pint. Yeah, they didn't have their narrow boat at no, the lock. No. They were just uh, at the pub having a drink and saw us and come over yeah. and asked if we wanted. Yeah, pint of, oh. and it was a Titanic 
Um, it was a fruity IPA. It was lovely. Beautiful, be absolutely beautiful pint. Yeah. So thank you very, yeah, very thank much. Thank you, Jill and, yeah, Jill and Lawrence, for that. That was timed <laughs> very well. Yeah. I think this was six o'clock, half five, six o'clock time, and but we hadn't had a drink all day. No, and I was a bit embarrassed because I did get that pint, and I was like. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, that yeah. yeah it was it was lovely yeah, then, yeah, yeah went the, down the, a treat and then I, head, head rush 10 minutes later yeah i had a bit of a hangover yeah, yeah, yeah after within, drinking it yeah within 10 minutes yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah but uh yeah that was nice yes This is a first for us. Um, in a queue of, there's four boats in front of us and there's another four behind for Stanthorpe Lock um, just before Middlewich. Yeah, so we're going uh, that away. Um, but apparently the lock is very, very um, slow to fill. So uh, we're going to be here a little while. Well, we're eventually through. One hour and five minutes. Yeah. It seemed a lot longer but and I think we're now coming to the point where the infamous 2018 Middlewich uh, breach was. Yeah. You can see all the new edging both sides and it was round about where that um, high boat is that the whole embankment collapsed and washed away and uh, put the canal out of action for over 10 months I believe. Well just behind me there we've got bridge 28 and if you walk up there in about five minutes walk through the estate and you come to a Jack's which is like Tesco's ver version of Aldi's. Well it's been a funny old day. It's been a funny we old day. We set off this morning <laughs> at 9 9.30 to get some shopping. And it's now 25, yeah. no actually 20 to 6. We've gone down two locks, we got the shopping, gone down two locks, queued, now gone up through the bottom lock that we came down from and we're now just going to find somewhere to moor. Yes. Bye. And after um, our long day and getting moored up, got up in the morning and the boat came chug chugging along and I thought recognise that boat from somewhere and it was Keith and Bernadette from the Tiller people. Lovely! Yeah, now I have been following these guys for, um, we've been on the boat two years, a good year um, before, that. before that, so yeah. uh, three years and uh, I think they've they've been doing doing narrowboat videos for about seven years, one of They're the original veteran. ones. Yeah, They're yeah, veteran, veteran vloggers. Uh, very knowledgeable people. Very. And when we was, um, looking for boats there was two or three um, we'd seen and I'd always ask Keith and Bernadette I've seen this boat and give them a little idea of the spec and they would give me some really really educated unbiased pros and against yeah yeah I'm not saying everybody bombard them with yeah, if you're looking don't, to buy they'll kill us. yeah yeah they, I probably <laughs> won't be too popular but they they were really really helpful to yeah. us and just absolutely wonderful people and knowledgeable beyond any yeah, yeah. anything they what if they don't know it it's not worth yeah, knowing yeah he's done some little um um, mods with the heat exchanger um, well if you if you check out his channel I yeah. should put a link um, in the description below and um, like I say if you've got any uh, queries or whatever they've normally covered most things in their yeah. video so it was really great to meet those yeah socially distance meet up with Keith yeah. and Bernadette from the Tiller people they've uh, just moored up behind us which is a big plus because I've been far on these guys for over two years and it just got better um, apparently, what's it called? Tiller Sunshine. Tiller Sunshine. Tiller, Tiller Sunshine from Microbrewery, Bernadette's brother. 
and I've been told it's double hopped, it's a citra hop, it's a cloudy beer, so I'm now gonna go in to try that and hopefully that is a right nice pint. And then he'll be flat on his back. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we, we shall see. Yeah, so then we moved back down through Stanthorn Lock. Yeah, Stanthorn Lock, the um, one we've been hold, held up at before. Yeah, we got held moved... up at again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's the place yeah, to be. Yeah. If you if you want to be hunging, hang, uh, hunging. hanging about, that is the place yeah. to be. But we, we moored on the breach, um, which was our... Yeah, or the where the breach was. Yes, yeah, sorry. Yeah. 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 Um, and we was waiting for Fran and Rich because they were coming up. So, uh, yeah, yeah. so yeah, we, we had we a had... lovely couple of evenings with yes, them. Yes, yeah, and had our first experience of going in a... Well, not our first experience of going in a pub beer garden. As we've yeah. been in pub beer gardens before. Um, but since the, the lockdown. COVID lockdown yeah. thing, and it was uh, the pub at King's Lock. Mm. And very nice. Yeah, be beautiful very little pub. Well, um, well, yeah, very well organised. Had a one-way system through the pub. Um, and then you come sit in the beer garden. We left our uh, name and telephone number for your mm. uh, tracking. And trace. I'll tell you what was lovely when we were sitting there. Was a... There was a fish and chip shop oh. the other side of the road. And because we were doing this veggie journey, I had sausage and yeah. chips. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, it did. Yeah, it well, I'm, I'm still, eat, I'm still oh, eating nice. fish. Yeah, we have a we have a, man, we have a mantra at the moment. Tuna is our friend. Yeah, we're yeah. pescatarians, yes. I suppose. Yeah, I think that's the term for yeah. it. Yeah, but I did yeah. have sausage and chips, yeah. and boy, oh yeah, boy, that was, did that taste that nice. That was very nice sitting outside in the pub beer garden, yeah. eating Lovely. chips from the chip shop rather than food from the pub. So, I don't know whether we was allowed to do that, but we we, we did done it, it anyway. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, that was we'd had a. I think you said we had a, a couple of evenings with Fran and Rich, not the four o'clock sessions that we had. Yeah. Four uh, o'clock in the morning yeah, sessions, yeah, no. that we had before. The, yeah. These were late ones, but... Um, and boozy ones, yes, but not yeah, so... Yes, yeah, yeah. not so late. Not, not so drawn out, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where are we, Deborah? Um, we are on the Middlewich branch. Up there is Stanthorn Lock. I don't know whether I can do the whole... You hold your finger still and I'll do the aim. There we go, thing. there, point there. finger. Yeah. And we're actually moored on what was the breach. Um, there's all new pilings and everything, so um, it's lovely here, actually. Yeah, we're just now going to walk down to uh, the actual site of the breach when we was hunting for caravans. Hunting for caravans? <laughs> <laughs> when we was in our caravan hunting for boats, we moored back at Aqueduct Marina. And at that point in time, we was looking at a boat there, but had we bought that boat we wouldn't have been able to cruise this way no um this was totally out of, out of commission i'll see if i can get some images uh, to actually back up what i'm saying but we'll now walk down to where the breach was but it's hard to believe looking at it now that it, it ever yeah happened. when I'll, I'll put a link to the yeah. canal and uh, river trusts website where they've got some time footage of the repairs that are being carried out and you can just see the enormity of what went on yeah and they've done a good job brilliant job Oh, and while I think of it, there are, as you came come out of Stanthorn Lock, when you get to this new restored sec section, there's rings for a very short period, probably enough to get one to four boats in if they uh, moor up without get gaps between them. And these are the rings that have been put in. And I'm pretty sure there's a little little concrete marker just up there and that is the point of where the breach was yeah so we're standing where the breach was over the river yeah so this whole whole area behind was where the massive great hole was what actually happened um, or what they think had happened at Stanthorn Lock um, somebody had opened the paddles top and bottom and they'd also done the same down at Wardle Lock so the water's flowing through somebody noticed down at Wardle Lock that the paddles had been opened so they'd closed those but nobody actually came up here to uh, check Stanthorn Lock. So subsequently, the level 
in this part of the canal rows and rows and rows and it just happened that this point right here was the lowest point breached over there started washing everything away I think they calculated it was something like 2,800 cubic meters of soil that got washed away which is about equivalent to um, 200 lorry loads of, um, of soil and that then, then subsequently drained about a whole just over a mile um, section of the canal yes yeah, so the breach happened in 2018 March 2018 yeah yeah March of 2018 and by December of 2018 they'd um, completed all the repairs yeah. yeah massive massive civil engineering works and it cost just over three million pounds to do it which obviously all came out of the uh, CRT funds they did have a GoFundMe page and I think they did raise um, quite a few uh, hundreds of thousands of pounds in donations as well uh, Deb doesn't want to look at the camera. She's just oh, sorry, taken just away take... with the, the be looking, beauty of the it place. It is a really, really, yeah. really nice play, place to moor. You're, you're elevated on this side. We've got corn on the cob, or maize as its proper name in the fields there. And it's a nice sunny day. Yeah. And we're now going into the town just to have a little explore. And have I, a little bit of exercise yeah, I, for a walk. Yeah, I've got a guitar on the boat and never really play it. I know three or four chords. And I thought I'd tune it up yesterday because we had Fran and Richmore up behind us. And I thought we might have a little bit of a sing song. And my E string went ping. So I'm going to see if I can find anywhere to get some guitar strings in the town. But I think music shops, unless it's a big town or a city or a dying thing, everybody yeah. buys everything online and we're guilty of that as well mm -hmm. yeah yes so yes, we are. and it was time for us uh both to move on yeah um i think fran and rich were going into the town to be nearer to meet relatives who were coming up and then they was going to have a look at their new boat see how that was progressing and we was then going to start heading where i shan't tell you where we was heading because you'll find out next week uh, and um, yeah, I think that's about it all apart from a uh, big big thank you to some uh, new and existing supporters over on PayPal um, Ian Owen and I've corrected your name in the uh, in the titles yeah yeah Rod uh, Anderson Stephen Brody and Dale Beasley thank you yeah, so yeah, much thank you so much guys yeah, really, really 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 appreciate, appreciate it. it yeah which just yeah. leaves me to say if you um, enjoyed the video press the like button if you haven't already subscribed press the subscribe button if you want future notifications of any other videos we upload the bell icon and keep the comments coming love your comments thank uh, you very much for your comments and see you all next week yeah bye, bye.